In this next video, we're going to show you a standing wave in an open pipe. So this is known as an open pipe because it's open on both sides. If it's closed on one side, we call that a closed pipe. So this is an open pipe or an open tube. And in order to have a standing wave in an open tube, it is necessary that there's a displacement antinode on both sides of the open pipe. A displacement antinode means a maximum displacement of the air molecules from their normal position. And that means that there would be zero pressure at those particular points. And the best way to illustrate that would be to show it like this. And of course, in order to have, um, hmm, that's not quite what it should look like. Let me try that again. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a node in the middle. And so we kind of make it look like that. So that would be the first resonance situation in an open pipe. Of course, if there's an antinode here, an antinode there, you have to have at least one node in the middle, and that's the simplest situation. Now you can see that the length of the pipe, L, is equal to, well, let's make it equal to uh, 50 centimeters to make it easy. No, no, actually, what we're going to do is, let's find out what it is. We're going to define the frequency, the base frequency, as 200 hertz, and so what length pipe do you need to make that happen like that? That's a better question. Uh, so the length of the pipe is question mark and the wavelength in this case is equal to one half the length of the pipe Because that's a quarter of a wavelength. That's a quarter of a wavelength that gives that to be a half a wavelength. All right So that means that the wavelength uh, that uh, L is equal to twice the wavelength and Knowing the frequency and the velocity we should be able to figure out what that wavelength is because velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength so therefore the wavelength is equal to velocity divided by the frequency. Hmm, yes, so that's equal to 340 meters per second divided by 200 hertz. And so that gives us a wavelength of 1.7 meters, which means that the length of the pipe, which is supposed to be, ah, here, there, that's where I'm wrong. Something wasn't adding up and I just figured out what it was. It's the length that's equal to a half a wavelength right here. So therefore the wavelength is equal to twice the length or the length is equal to one half lambda and lambda is equal to 1.7 meters. So it's equal to one half times 1.7 meters, which is equal to 0.85 meters. That's better. That's the correct answer for the length of the pipe. So to have a first resonance situation in an open end pipe, with a, with a sound wave of frequency 200 hertz, when the velocity of sound is 340 meters per second, we have to have a wavelength of 1.7 meters, such that the half a wavelength is the length of the pipe, which is 0.5 meters. So that becomes the length of the pipe, and that's how we have a standing wave resonance frequency. Now, that also means that since the incoming wave and the outgoing wave, and that's kind of interesting, you say, well, how can you have an outgoing wave? Well, notice there's a displacement antinode here, Displacement antinode means that you have zero pressure difference right here, which means you have greater pressure difference outside the tube, which means that the sound going on one side will see that greater pressure difference at this point, and so some of the wave energy will then uh, get pushed back the other direction, and that's how you can set up a standing wave, kind of an interesting way of, of uh, having that happen. And in that respect, you have a standing wave, and that will be then the first resonance with the length of the pipe being 0.85 meters.